Welcome, my students, in continuation to solving SAAT biology leaks questions of 2023. Now we are in question number 131, and the question says, could um, crustaceans that appear with the red, okay, ride, which is harmful algal bloom, are not recommended to eat them as they contain toxins because they feed on. Yes, they feed on. If you don't algae, no. If you don't dinoflagellates, which is, yes, correct. And dinoflagellates are harmful. They do contain toxins. True. Let's carry on. And here is the additional information if you want to go farther. Okay. You don't need actually to that level of the SA80, but if you want to go farther, you're going to find all of the information you need, but it never come uh, with this um, advance. Which of the following um, heart chambers pumps blood to the body? What is the heart chamber that pumps it to the body? It is the left ventricle, which is true. Yes, Jenna, you are right. Left ventricle bumping the blood to all of the body parts, okay? To the aorta and aorta branch to all of the body of the parts. Yes, all of the body parts here. You're going to find the um, left ventricle. When the left ventricle contracting, the blood moving to the aorta, and the aorta is the main artery that is supporting the blood, the oxygenated or oxygen rich blood is perfect, Abdullah, to all of the, of the body parts. Exactly. You took it from my mouth. Yes, exactly. That's true. The scientific term that describes the extinction of a group of living organisms in a high rate and in a short period of time is called. Yes, this is called mass extinction. Yes, exactly. This is the meaning of definition of mass extinction. Perfect. We have we have gradual uh, extinction, which is a, a process by which extinction of species occurred okay, gradually over a, um, a long period of time. We have mass extinction, which is the proper okay, definition. And in some... Uh, SA80, you know that some of the questions are maltranslated. They wrote collective. Yeah, collective is not found actually in the textbooks, but it's found in the exam one, one year before. It is an event that or at which a high percentage of species are endangered in a very short period of time. Okay. The mass extinction is about 1,000 times more than the normal or the gradual extinction. Also, in another question we solved before, the exploitation Expo uh, exploitation occurred, which is the uh, unwise use of the resources when excessive use of the species with an economic value. That, of course, increases the speed of the process of extinction, destruction of habitat, okay? And we can um, fight against it by the sustainable development or to use the resources wisely, sustainably. The flower, the following figure describes which type of flower. This flower is considered, it is, yeah, it's complete bisexual. That's that's true. Why? Because as you see here, there is the, the male, okay, the male reproductive, okay, structure, which is the stamen and the female reproductive structure, which is the, the female. Yes, perfect. Of course, the, the male reproductive structure is made up of antha, which is the pollen-producing organ, as we mentioned before. And the pollen will be landing on the stigma, which is the pollen-receiving organ in the female part. And then it will be penetrating the stigma, the style, till reaching the, yes, the ovary. And in the ovary, through the microbiome, we're reaching to the excel. Here is excel in particular in a process called double fertilization. It is hermaphrodite, which is correct. Yeah, Abdullah, that's true. That's correct. In what pH range does the Bipsin enzyme work? Think about it. Exactly. Strong acidic medium. Very strong acidic medium, about 2.5. Yes, exactly. And here we are. HCl makes the medium acidic inside the stomach, from the gastric juices, from the 
parietal cell that secretes the hydrogen proton, and there is also the chlorine. Together, they are making the hydrochloric acid. The hydrochloric acid is activating the pepsinogen, which is an active form of the enzyme, and converted into pepsin, which is active form. The pepsin is working on the proteins in order to digest, break down them into a polypeptide. Then the polypeptide will go from the stomach to the uh, small intestine, and in particular the duodenum. And in the duodenum, there will be another enzyme called trypsin. Also work on the proteins that will break them down into polypeptide. And the polypeptide will be broken down by peptidase into amino acids. And amino acids are the basic building units of the uh, protein. And this is the final destination of the digestion here, of the protein. The type of feeding in sponge considered, not a new question. How the sponge feed? What the type of feeding? Yeah, it is filter feeder. Yes, exactly. It's a filter feeder. As you know here as well, they, uh, the sponge lack of any specialized uh, tissue, it just have specialized cells. Do not have organs, specialized organs. Do not have specialized tissue. It, it's made up of only three types of specialized cells. From outside, we have the epithelial cells. And uh, here inside, we have the uh, coanocyte or cooler cell that have cooler in which the food will be trapped. Then it will be get into the okay, coanocytes by a, a phagocytosis. Then it will be uh, digested, and the digested food will be diffused to the amoebocyte. Amoebocyte take the food and oxygen up and down throughout the organism in what is known as a mesoglia. Here, this layer is called mesoglia. Yep. Human can get infected by bilharzia as a result of Perfect dinner, yes, in the contaminated, yeah, water. Yes, because as you know, in the contaminated water, eggs enter into the intermediate host, which is a, a snail, and afterward, the cercaria will be, okay, in the water, the cercaria has a forked tail, so it's swimming, and its head has a penetrating enzyme that are, okay, getting into the body through the skin, and the cycle to be continued. We will not be questioned about the cycle, but okay, here is how it's been transmitted or gets uh, make the, the person or the human infected. Which of the following for both DNA and RNA? That's true. Actually, thiamine, yeah, here. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, guanine. You are right. D. Thiamine is all is all only in DNA. You are still only in RNA. Deoxyribose is only in um, DNA. Guanine is found in both DNA and RNA. And as I told you before, and it came in one question that we have two families of the nitrogen containing bases or the nitrogenous bases. Those two families are. The pyrimidines and purines. I requested you last time in order to just know one family, which is the purines. Purines is uh, containing adenine, A, and guanine, G. So just memorize A, G, and the rest are all uh, pyrimidines, such like the cytosine, the thiamine, and uracil. Uracil only in RNA, thiamine only in DNA. Which of the following is responsible for tropism in the plant in this picture below? Um, this it is not figmotropism. Figmotropism is response to touch. This is response to, yeah, to stimuli. And the stimulus in this case is the light. 
So it is phototropism. It responds to light. Monodirectional light. Because if the light is multidirectional, it will be straight. Okay? But because the light only came from one direction, monodirectional, that causing the process of, yes, tropism, phototropism. To which group of the plants the flowering uh, flower belongs, the form flower belongs to? It's very easy. Yes, true, to dicot. Why? Because if you count the number of uh, petals here, they are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they are multiples of four. So multiples of four or multiples, four or multiples of four, five or multiples of five, it's representing the dicot. While three or multiples of three, representing the monocot. Yes. Yes. And here are the differences. Which of the following vitamins the skin gets by exposure to sunlight? It came many times before. Yeah, exactly. Vitamin D. Yes, that's perfect. Vitamin D. Yeah. As you know, the UV radiation makes inactive vitamin D under the skin. Then it will be transported to the liver in order to make another intermediate unstable chemical compound. Okay, that will be transferred to the kidney. In the kidney, it will be converted into, yes, vitamin D3, which is active form, and into the whole, to the bones in particular, in order to start making, yes, it's maintaining homeostasis. Perfect, which is they, yes, to maintain constant internal conditions, to keep the body work in a minimal, okay, uh, sit range or within a sit range. The atoms have a water surface buoyancy advantage because this came this year because of yes D is correct yes perfect they are secreting oily yes exactly they are storing uh, the excess food in the form of oils that's true Which of the following ways is not considered a way um, a sexual reproduction? Is not. Yes, conjugation is not considered a, a sexual. Yeah. Fragmentation is, budding is, gimmules is in a sponge. But conjugation is in bacteria and is not considered a sexual. Yeah. Which of the following organisms lack of symmetry, asymmetrical? We talk about it even before. It is the sponge. The sponge lack of any symmetry. Do not have a plan of symmetry. Yeah, asymmetrical. Yeah. Organisms with radial symmetry characterized by increasing. One of the questions, one of the students said, why? Because it has a lot of tentacles. So yeah, so it will be moving. Exactly. Moving a lot. Yes, because it has a lot of tentacles. Yes that are surrounding the central axis. Uh, protostomes differ from deuterostomes that the first opening in gastrula resulted from the... We talked about it before as well. Before. Yeah, the protostome. Okay. First, the mouth. And, yes, exactly. Anus later. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's true. Yes, I like to extend it. Okay, the the protostomes. Proto in Latin means first. Stone means opening. So, in the protostomes, mouth first, and then anus. Deutero, second. Stone, the mouth is second. So, anus first. The first opening of the gastrula is the anus opening, or makes the anus opening. And then, the mouth. 
and this is the age which is Tom. Exactly. Anus is the second stage. In case of Bullstone, first stage. In case of Deuterostomes. In this figure, the arrow points to. This arrow points to. Yeah, think about it. Perfect. It's the mouth and anus. Yes, here. And here there is a vascular cavity. Yeah. Here if you have, for example, any prey, any prey, any prey, okay, when it gets in, will be digested here in the cavity, and the remaining will be, yes, will be secreted outside from the same place. So there's the mouth and anus. And this called gastro, okay, vascular cavity. And the, uh, the digestion occurred extracellulary here in this cavity, not inside the cells. The figure representing a worm, lava lives in fresh water causing which disease? We'll just talk about it. This is the larva of that has fork tails and has a acrosome with penetrating enzymes. This is Cercaria. Cercaria is for Bilharzia. Cercaria is for Bilharzia. Yes, it's B. For Bilharzia. What happens when there is decrease in numbers of hard shells in oceans? It's not new. Yeah, high growth and reproduction. Yeah, we talked about it before. The respiratory structure in shrimps is shrimp live in water. The respiratory structure is gills. Yes, exactly. There are gills here under this. Mosquitoes classified as mosquitoes are. They are insects. Yep. All of the following organisms are classified as insect, except what is not insect here. Yes. And you can be fooled here, by the way. It's arachnid. Perfect, yeah, Abdullah. Yes, you are right. Spider is arachnid. Spider as Corbin are arachnids. All of the rest are insecta. Or insects. In the figure, the mouth of the insect adapted to perform which function? This mouth is adapted to what? Yes. No, not piercing and sucking. It's not piercing and sucking. Yeah, sucking liquid. Piercing sucking is mosquito. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Here is another example. I think there are three questions, okay? One after one is like the same the same point. Or the about the mouth parts. In the figure, the mouth of the insect adapted to perform which function? It's it too yes, exactly no. Here is not person sucking. Here, it is not person sucking. Okay? It is not cutting and tearing, for sure. It's not a carnivore. And it's not sucking. It is licking and sponging. The structure like the sponge, okay, and licking on the... Yes, exactly. This is the correct answer for... This is the housefly, by the way. In the mouth of the housefly. In insects, which of the following phrases is inside cocoon and not feed? Yeah, inside a cocoon and not feed is, yes, exactly. It's the pupa, the pupa. Pupa is inside the cocoon, something like this. 
Yes. And here is the pupa. When it hatch, there will be larva. Yes. Larva will be adult. Adult will lay egg. Yes. Eggs will hatch to yes, larva and so on. Echinoderms live in. Where the echinoderm live? It's it's very simple question. Yeah, seas, exactly. They are not in the river, lakes, and moon. It's living in the salt water. It's marine. Yes, yes, it's marine. But those are fresh water, perfect. During hibernation, frogs bury themselves in mud and respire through. It's not new, by the way. We took it before. Through their skin. Subcutaneous respiration. Yes. Which of the following animals has no limbs and bury itself in the soil? Yeah, exactly. Has no limbs. Frogs has limbs. Okay. Not frogs. Not toads. Both of them are. Yes, they have legs. Not salamander, because salamander has legs. Sicilian, it is. Yeah, it is tailless and legless. Yes, exactly. Sicilian. Okay. Peak needed for a bird that feed on rabbits and lizards. Should be. Should be sharp and hooked. Perfect. Yes. Explain it before. Such like they, yes, such like the hawk, for example, or the eagle. It is sharp and hooked. If you see an animal that has hair and suckle his offspring, you classify it among this class. Yes, of course. Mammalian. Hair and fur in mammals and suckle in milk is also in mammals. That's perfect. And of course, it has mammary gland. That's why it's, no, it's known as mammals. True. All of the following sharing in the reflex action, except what is not interfering in the reflex action? One structure here has no... Yes, exactly. The brain will not be interfering in the, uh, in the reflex action. The brain will be notified later after the action is being taken. First is the sensory. First, sensory. Neuron and send it to the spinal cord. Spinal cord will take the decision. It will not go to the brain. First sensory, second spinal, third is motor. Yes. Motor to the muscle or the effector. It's called effector. Effector could be muscle, contract or relax, or could be gland, gland secrete a hormone that will alter the way the body works. And afterwards, last thing, the brain will be notified. Okay, this is five. Lost. There is something and we handle it. Okay. And this is known as reflex arc. Okay, flex arc. The figure representing the valves in the heart, which of the following number pointing to the pulmonary valve? Pulmonary. Where's the pulmonary? Exactly. Exactly. Correct. This is the pulmonary. Valve, and this is called the bikes, uh, the trike spine. Tri spine valve, and three is the uh, metral or trikes or bike spine, metral or bike spine, and four is aortic. A 
aortic valve. Yes, at the base of the aorta. Yes, this is valve ex explanation. What are the following structures that process of gas exchange between oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place? Yeah, it occurred, yes. Yeah, blood capillaries. Yeah, they are surrounding the alveoli and on the wall of the alveoli, the gas exchange will be occurred and then the oxygen will be get into the, well, the capillary surrounding the alveoli and carbon dioxide will be uh, in contrary or in reverse will be uh, to the blood vessels then to the alveoli, then to the alveolar cavity, then to the bronchioles, then bronchi, then trachea, then outside. What component of blood transports oxygen throughout the body? What is transporting oxygen? The red blood cells. Yes. Because it carry the hemoglobin, the hemoglobin is the... Yes, exactly the protein responsible for the transportation of oxygen. All blood group person can donate to all blood groups because it's just rephrasing a question. It has no, has no antigen. Yes, no antigen. And we discussed it before. A person suffering from increase in cholesterol level, he has to avoid which of the following food times. This question came in two uh, forms. This has to avoid, yeah, dietary products, yeah, legumes, they, they mainly contain proteins. Okay, fish, they have healthy oil, by the way, healthy oils. And olive oil is also has omega-3, which is healthy oil that have what is known as high uh, H, uh, HDL, high-density lipoprotein. It's healthful. The dairy products, they do contain, okay, specifically the full, okay, which is called a uh, full, okay, uh, full fats. They have a lot of fats. So when there is a problem in this person, he may, okay, be subjected to a high level of cholesterol if he consume a lot of the full fat dairy products, specifically the butter and so on. Although the body is capable to manufacture some of the amino acids, the person still has to intake animal proteins. That's because it contains. Yeah. Yes. Essential. Is that exactly. It has essential amino acids. You know we have 20 amino acids. Those 20 are classified as 11 and 9. Those 11 are even classified into 5 and 6. The six, the five are non-essential, non-essential. Those are non-essential. Those nine are essential. Essential mean the body cannot manufacture. Non-essential are being classified into five. Okay, totally non-essential. The body can, okay, manufacture them. Six are, okay, probably non-essential. The body, in most cases, can do them. And nine, the body cannot. And it have to be given to it from an animal source. If it will be from a plant, it can be found, but in, not in one source, in many. Okay, that's why the vegan, they can obtain those uh, essential amino acids by consuming different types of plant sources. The uh, insulin molecule is insulin is is made up of it is a protein yes yes exactly it is amino acid based it is non-steroid based non-cholesterol based yeah the following figure represents the blood pressure level for some person which of the following hormones cause this sudden rise referred to by the arrow in the accumbent in the accumbent figure yeah, we talked about it before. Yes, exactly. It's the adrenaline. Yeah, we took it before. If a person has a sharp rise in the blood glucose level, 
which is the following hormones regulating the blood glucose level and return it back to normal. Yes, exactly, the insulin. Why? Because it will be stimulating the liver to intake to the liver. Then the liver convert glucose and store it in the form of glycogen. Store it. So now the glucose, the blood glucose level will be decreased. Back to normal. As per in the following figure, the arrow refers to, this is called, yes, exactly, the insulin is being released by the yeah, eyelids of your hands in, uh, in pancreas. Yes, this is the middle piece. Yes, this gold middle piece, exactly. And this is the head. And this is called the tail. Yes. And the answer, the correct answer is middle bees. So I'll, I'll change this. Okay, this is incorrect. The correct is middle bees. Which of the following hormones are secreted by ovarian cells? Ovarian cells release the female sex hormones. The female sex hormones are estrogen and progesterone. Yes. Doctors advise pregnant women avoiding taking medicine drugs in the first trimester. What is the reason behind? What is the reason behind? Yeah, exactly. The beginning of formation of embryos organs. Perfect. The importance of lymph nodes in the body is because their ability to. What is the importance of lymph nodes? Yes, exactly. They contribute in protection against infectious diseases. Yeah, because it's the places at which the lymphocytes are being uh, mature and developed so they are being able to fight against the, uh, the diseases. Vaccinating children against polio disease is considered. Vaccination is. Yeah, no, it is not passive. Vaccination is active, is active immunity. Why? Because it is triggering an immune response. When you are vaccinating a person, you are giving the person a attenuated or weakened or killed, okay, a virus. And by this way, you are a triggering immune response, okay? It's called active, active immunity. We have active and passive. There's no positive. Non-vascular plants couldn't live and accommodate in areas where water is scarce. And that's because... Why then vascular cannot live in the desert, for example? What is the answer? Exactly. The water must be there. They have to be freestanding in water in which the sperm, the male gamete, will be swimming in water to reach the female egg cell. That's perfect. True. The following figure represents sections in plant roots. Which of the following numbers refers to the part has a high concentration of oxen? Where are the highest concentration of oxens? In this accompanying figure. Yeah, three. Exactly. This is called huh, root apex. Yes, exactly. This is cortex. Uh, I'm sorry, this is the uh, dermal called epiderms and here the cortex and this is called root apex and this is a meristems okay this I'm sorry this is called root cap here is root apex that is made up of meristems, meristematic cells. 
those cells are okay consider like the stem cells and those cells are okay responsible for the uh, formation and release of uh, auxins auxin cause what is known as primary growth primary growth primary growth is representing an elongation elongation okay using hormones scientists we uh, were able to dwarf plants okay short stems and that by controlling which hormones you can dwarf so yeah exactly exactly you can control it by gibbons that are causing a dramatic growth yes exactly for the plant parts they are causing a massive growth not normal yes dramatic which of the following figures represents negative geotropism or negative gravitropism it's b yes that's perfect as you can see here okay you're gonna find that the shoot here is moving or bending away from the gravity here is the gravity or here is the soil and here is the effect of uh gravity and it's moving away or bending away so it's called a negative okay gravitropism or geotropism in the following figure, the type of tropism is. Yeah, this is sigmotropism. Yes, exactly. This is the, yeah, sigmotropism. The slow growth movement of land in response to touch. This is a tendril. The growth of gray plant towards light is an example of towards light. Towards light. This is called. This is called a, yeah, exactly, positive, positive tropism. Yes. A colored structure in the flowers that attract pollinators. Yeah, of course, the petals. Yes. Which of the following structures represent the male flowering parts? The male flowering parts are... Yes, um, stamen. Yep. In the following figure, which of the following structure the arrow refers to? Uh, the figure is not there. Sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, here. It's supposed to be in the previous one. Yeah, what are they figure representing too? This is the stigma. Yes, exactly. In the table below, which number characterizing the wind pollinated flowers? The wind pollinated flowers are characterized by yes, many pollen. The stigma, but the stigma is no, the stigma is feathery and large. Yes, it is not two, it is not B. They have many pollen because most of them will be lost, okay, because of the wind. And the stigma has to be large in order to receive as many as of the flying pollen, okay. And mostly the stamen are, yes, below the beetles. So they will be sway in the wind outside of the flower. One of the following biological molecules make up most of the biological membranes. It is. What are those biological large molecules? It is they. Most biological membranes is made up of yeah, lipid, phospholipid. It is phospholipid bilayer. As you know, the membrane is made up of okay, a bilayer. This bilayer is made up of phospholipid. Phospholipid is yes, a biological molecule. Exactly. 
Which of the following living organisms its cells do not contain cell wall? What is here? Yes, Hydra is an yeah, protest. Exactly. Mushroom is fungi with a cell wall. Pomegranate plant with cell wall. This plant with cell wall. Hydra is a an idarian, an idarian. Uh, I'm sorry, I said protest. No, it's, it's an idarian. And it's an animal kingdom, an animal kingdom lack of cell wall. Which of the following organelles is absent in animal cells? An organelle that is not found in animal cells. Animal cells, they are not photosynthetic, so they do not have plastids. Plastids are the chloroplastids or the chloroblasts. All of them are the same. All of them are the same. You examined a tissue under the microscope and you found its cells that have a cell wall. Based on your study, from which of the following the specimen is token? There is a cell wall. Yes, exactly. You are right. All of the rest are animals. Okay. And this is the only okay plant cell. As the activation energy is low, the rate of chemical reaction is fast. Which of the following substances acts on lowering the activation energy? What causes the activation energy to be lowered? What is the chemical molecule that is speeding up the rate of chemical reaction? Yeah, the enzyme. This is the enzyme. Exactly. Speed up the rate of chemical reaction without being changed. Perfect. In photosynthesis, they what energy is converted to what energy? Yeah, the light to chemical. Perfect. In the form of glucose stored in the bones of the glucose molecule. Which of the following equations represents the process of cellular respiration in humans? Yes, what is the proper equation for the cellular respiration? Exactly. Correct. That's correct. Here is glucose, oxygen, gives you carbon dioxide plus water plus energy. If you flip this, will be photosynthesis. Which of the following cellular structure occur in it? The Krebs cycle of aerobic respiration. Where is the aerobic respiration occurred? It occurred in mitochondria. That's true. Exactly. Exactly. It occurred in the mitochondria. At which stage of the cell cycle the genetic material is duplicated? Yes, that's a good question. The cell duplicate, duplication occurred in? Yeah, an interface. And in particular in the S stage. As you know, the cell cycle has? Yeah. You can say. Here is, all of this is interphase. All of this is interphase. And this is called M or mitosis. The mitosis is divided even into two. Here we have, this is called nuclear division or mitosis. That has four stages, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. Okay, and afterward, all of those are mitosis or karyokinesis. Karyo means nucleus. Kinesis means division. Afterward, we have cytokinesis. Cyto means cytoplasm. Division, the division of cytoplasm. 
interface has G1, S, and G2. G1 or GAP1, okay? In G1, there is a, a this is cellular growth, cellular functioning, and duplication of cell organelles, but not the nucleus. S or synthesis, there will be DNA replication. Replication. Replication means copying. The DNA will be copied where? In the S phase, in the synthesis. Afterward, G2, okay, continuous cellular growth and cellular functioning. Afterward, it will enter to the M or the mitosis, and so on. This is the cell cycle. In mitosis, at which phase the chromosomes condense it and the nuclear and the nucleolus disappear? Where the chromosomes condense it and the nucleolus disappear? Yes, in the proof phase. Yes, exactly. They uh, the cancerous cell differ from the normal cell that it's it's what? Yeah, spend more time in interface. Yes, that's true. Spend less time in the uh, It is dividing a lot so that it's not taking a lot of time in the interface. You are right. Yes, I have to change it. 196 is important. A second. Yep. Yeah. Takes less time. It should be less time. Yeah, that's why it will be it will be spending less time because it is uncontrollably dividing. You are right. Uh, the following figure, a cell division, represents what phase? What is this picture representing? This figure representing a uh, metaphase 2. This is not metaphase. It is anaphase or prophase. It's anaphase 2. Why it's anaphase? Because... That you are right, it is anaphase two. Why? Because now the spindle fibers are being shortened. Okay. A second. Here. And as you can see here, there will be the sister chromatids will be pulled away. Yeah. So the sister chromatids is like this. So from the kinetic core, one will be pulled to the south pole of the cell, another will be pulled to the north pole of the cell. And this is the equator or this is the metaphase. Okay. If it's the uh, tetrade or the sister uh, or the, uh, what do you call the duplicated homologous chromosome separated, this is anaphase uh, one, which will be like this. Will be a tetrade. The trade is four, like this. And this will be taken from this side, and this will be taken from that side. So this is anaphase one, ana one. This is anaphase two, sister chromatids. So this is very important. A mini question came here, by the way. If both parents could roll their tongue and both are heterozygous, T capital T small, what are the possible genotypes of their children? What are the possible genotypes? He's asking for the genotype. Could be. What is the answer here? Yeah, exactly. Hey, Abdullah, you're right. Yes. If you are in doubt, bonnet it. Make a bonnet square, three lines, two lines, as you know, one, two, three, two. Okay, here is the male and the female. 
Okay, no matter where you would bring, we would put them. It's a genetic. So T capital, T small, and T capital, T small. T capital with T capital will be T capital, T capital. T capital with T small, T capital, T small. T small with T capital, T capital, T small. T small with T small will be T small, T small. So it will be one, two, one. T capital, T capital, one. T capital, T small, here, this and this, will be two. T small, T small, will be one. Yes, homozygous dominant, heterozygous dominant, homozygous recessive. A wrinkled uh, eared male mated with a non-wrinkled eared female and gave non-wrinkled eared offsprings. When offsprings interbreed through, uh, together, the ratio of phenot phenotype was three wrinkled to one, I'm sorry, three non-wrinkled to one wrinkled. So the trait of wrinkled ear is, it, it appeared in the second generation one time, so it's recessive. Yes, for sure. It was being, this is literally the Mendelian inheritance. It was being masked in the third generation and appeared in the second generation of the ratio three to one. Three dominant to one recessive. It's the recessive trait. Perfect. Yeah. If the number of chromosomes in an animal sex cell is four pairs of chromosomes, what is the number of possible genetic combinations after fertilization? We have a law, okay, that is being determining this. What is this law? Somebody was saying, why not A, genetic crossover? No, it's not genetic crossover at all. He's asking about the trait, dominant or recessive. What is the law? The law is 2 to the power of N, while N is number of chromosome pair. Number of chromosome pairs. Yeah, exactly. So four to the power of, uh, I'm sorry, two to the power of four is 16. Yes, perfect. Easy. You have to know this. Two parents with a recessive genetic disorder called cystic fibrosis. What is the probability of having an affected child with that disease? They have it. So for sure, the parent, they say, two parents with a recessive genetic disorder, they have it. Yes, it will be, yeah, 100%. Because they are cystic fibrosed. They are diseased. They are affected. So for sure, they, they are homozygous. If you assume that it is by... C small, C small, for example. This is a uh, male and a female, C small, C small. So all of the offsprings will be C small, C small. Homozygous recessive, okay, cystic fibrosis. Yeah, it is recessive and they are diseased. So they are pure. Exactly. You are right. While tracing a trait in the following pedigree, Individuals of second generation, yeah, should be what? Yeah, think about it. The generation of the second, yes, exactly, exactly. The ratio of the carriers, you the ratio of they, yes. Here are carriers. Two, similar the ratio of the normal or the non trait, which is two. So the ratio is one to one. Exactly. Same ratio. To which of the following genetic patterns the human blood group inheritance belonging to? The human inheritance is belonging to what? Huh. 
co-dominance. No, co. Uh, it is. I'm sorry, polygenic trait because we have I a capital. I we saw with something like this yesterday. I a capital. I b capital. I null or I zero. Plug group A could be I a capital I a capital or I a capital I null. The blood group B could be I B capital I B capital homozygous dominant or I B capital I null. The blood group uh, we have blood group A B by the way, which is I A capital I B capital. This is co dominance. Co I'm co dominance. And we have I null, I null, which is the blood group. Oh, this is blood group B. This is blood group A. All of those are complete dominance. Complete. Okay. This is co-dominance. When you are when you're studying the following karyotype of an infected uh, or infected person, you will be sure that he is diseased by. Look for the number of the chromosomes. If there is anyone missing, if there is any anyone uh, more, what is the number? Yes, Down syndrome. Perfect. Why? Because they there is a yes an extra chromosome number twenty one, which is exact the case of syndrome. The genotype of a Turner syndrome person is is XO. Yes, exactly. XX normal female, XY normal male, OY lethal will be dead. And this is the Turner. Yeah, we'll talk about it before. The person that is genotype is XXY is affected by. We took it even before. XXY is a climb filter and same acceleration. Which of the following sentences best describes the function of amino acid? Amino acid, its function is? Amino acid is not storing genetic material. This is the nucleic acid. Exactly. Providing structural support. Uh, so it should be nucleic acid, not amino acid. The heading is incorrect. I thought maybe my bad. A second. This is 2 7. Okay, nucleic. Why nucleic? Because this is inheritance, and inheritance has no connection to amino acid. This is nucleic, for sure. So, this is my bad. And now it is a proper context. Thank you, my dear. The following figure represents following figure represents what? A DNA. Yes, exactly. A double helix. The nucleic acid RNA contains the nitrogenous base uracil instead of uracil in RNA is instead of what in DNA? Uracil is instead of thiamine. Perfect. When you study in DNA molecule, according to the Chargaff rule, you found the amount of cytosine 30. So the guanine ratio is ah, also 30. Perfect. What is the nitrogenous base complementary to the following chain? 3 and 5, A, T, G, 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 C, G, C. 3 and 3, 3 and. 
Yeah. The best pairing rule is adenine with thymine, cytosine with guanine. Yeah. Which of the following RNA transfer amino acids to ribosome? Yeah. Uh, it is tRNA, transfer RNA. The amino acid is being transferred by transfer RNA, tRNA. Living organisms that has two atria and one ventricle, which one of those is and why? The frog, by the way, came in one question, has one, okay, um, has uh, two atria and one ventricle. This question came as well, as you know. It's another frog. Two atria, two ventricles. Eagle, yeah, because eagle is a bird, and bird has four-chambered heart. Crocodile is, ah, he said two atria and one ventricle. Imagine, I didn't read the question properly. Yes, I didn't read the question properly. Yeah, crocodile is replied, but it is exception. It has four. Eagle is a bird and has four. Beer is a mammal and has four. Frog is amphibian and has three chambers. You are right. I didn't read the question properly. I stuck to my mind one question. You are right. So you have to read the question properly. Yeah, frog has. I just mentioned it, but I didn't read the question stem. It has one uh, ventricle and two atria. Yeah. Which of the following has immovable joints? Immovable joints. Yeah, skull, which is called the sutures. Which of the following molecules found a lot in meat? What's found in meat a lot? Yeah, amino acids. Sure, amino acids. ATB stored in. They are made in mitochondria, but where they are stored? They will be stored in. Who can tell? They are stored in cellulosum. Yes. Made in mitochondria and stored in cellulosum. Group of fish that live together in the same place at the same time and reproduce among themselves and produce fertile offsprings from my side. This is called, yeah, population. Yes. Yeah. One individual living thing is organism. A group of organisms of the same species, such like the fish in this, the fish in this case, that live together in one place at a particular place at a particular time and are capable to breed among themselves and produce fertile offsprings. This is the biological population a different species that live in together this is community biological community if you add in up the uh, abiotic factors then you are talking about an ecosystem and all of the global ecosystems all over the globe is called biosphere which are the following features characterizing salamander from lizard What differentiates the salamander from the liver? Yes, of course. Salamander has a, yes, a moist skin. Yes, exactly. Yes. Which of the following has no urinary bladder? The biological community is a group of living organisms, a group of uh, living organisms from different species that are left together in one particular area at the same time. Those are making community, community of different species. Which of the following has urinary bladder? Most welcome. Has no urinary bladder. Yes, of course. Owl is a bird and a bird has no blood in order to ease the process of flying. In the following figure, the flower, this flower is described as, this flower is what? It is unisexual because it has only the female part, which is the carbo. 
or pistol. Yes, those, the male part, are not present. Marine ecosystems has a great impact on our planet because they, the marine ecosystems, yeah, they are containing the phytoplanktons that are producing about 70% of our oxygen, not the first, the, the phytoplanktons, but like the atoms. Which of the following processes will slow down in the cell that has less number of ribosomes. If a cell has less number of ribosomes, by other words, he is telling you what is the function of ribosome. Ribosome function is to? The function of ribosome is to? To read the mRNA, the messenger RNA, okay, in order to assemble the proper sort of amino acid, in order to build protein in a process called protein synthesis. So it's the protein synthesis. Occurrence of fires and volcanoes in, com in a community. The community will be replaced by another biological community. This is called, so forest fire is an example of, forest fire is an example of, it's called biological or ecological succession. Succession. Yes. Yeah. Why? Why it's, uh, it's ecological succession and in particular it's a secondary succession, not primary, because there is a soil intact. There is a, a fire, but after the fire, there is still soil intact. So um, you are just uh, recreating a pre inhabited. Okay, community. So this is called secondary ecological succession. The primary is to create a new okay uh, community in an area that was not inhabited before, uh, such like a a um, a glacier, okay, or a pear glacier. Okay, it was not inhabited before, and the first organism that firstly come are known as pioneer species. Okay, mostly the second or the uh, secondary succession occurred after a disaster, such like a uh, forest uh, fire, such like a um, trees that are falling down, all of those, because the soil is still there. Yes, I'm sorry, thank you. Those are the amount of questions for this session.